One of the hottest topics in NASCAR racing this year has been the steep decline of TV ratings. It's been a discussion point that has been discussed ad nauseum up until this point. And one of the biggest excuses that's trotted out most of the time is the fact that Dale Earnhardt Jr. is no longer driving competitively week in, week out in NASCAR. Now, there hasn't been a whole lot of data to support or deny this claim. We really haven't had any idea. I mean, there could, there's so many factors that go into TV ratings and whether or not Junior Nation is really that disinterested in the current NASCAR product without him in it that we haven't really been able to say anything definitively until now. This weekend... Dale Earnhardt Jr. returned to the cockpit in a NASCAR Xfinity car. Now, this was something required by his sponsor in Junior Motorsports, Hellman's, that required him to race at least one race per year for them to sponsor the rest of the team. So, this year, he chose to race in the Xfinity playoff race at Richmond. And it was almost a dream scenario for NASCAR. Dale Jr. was not only competitive, but he led a large portion of the race and was leading the race late in the going until a late caution flag coupled with a bad pit stop that allowed Matt Tiff to beat him out of the pits, forced him onto the outside lane of the track, and unfortunately uh, shoved him, shuffled him back quite a bit uh, in the final finishing order. But that being said... Again, this was a dream scenario. Dale Jr. showed some competitiveness that he really hasn't shown in a race car in the last couple years. So if there were to be a ratings increase, this would be the time it would happen. And adding to the interest of this data that I'm about to show you is the fact that NBC Sports hardly promoted this at all partly due to the fact that they're not particularly keen on participants in the actual event commentating on the races that they are participating in. That's why Dale Jr. is not an analyst on the NASCAR Xfinity Series broadcasts, only on the Monster Energy ones, because, of course, he owns Junior Motorsports and NBC, probably rightfully so considering some of the actions that have come out about their employees in the past, is a little bit gun-shy about the perception of bias in the TV booth. If only Fox Sports showed the same restraint. Ultimately, what you had was pretty much only social media promotion. Heck, Dale Jr. didn't even tweet his intention to race in this race until about a week prior to him strapping into the cockpit and going out for the first practice session. So the amount of people that were aware of this, the people that were interested in tuning in, were pretty much only the hardcore NASCAR racing and the hardcore Dale Jr. Nation members. Lack of promotion aside, Adam Stern reported that the ratings did increase, and not only the ratings increased, but the amount of viewers increased as well. The Xfinity Series overnight ratings were a .54 TV rating, which was up 4% from the race last year. In real TV viewers, that's 870,000 viewers. That number went up 8% from 2017. In real numbers, that's an increase of 69,600 viewers. Meanwhile, the final cup race at Richmond last year scored a 1.2 TV rating. This year, it scored an overnight rating of 1.1. It actually fell again to 1.0 in the actual final ratings. Unfortunately, we don't have the actual TV viewer numbers like we did for Xfinity. For whatever reason, I was unable to find those specific numbers, so I didn't include them here. But the actual TV rating decrease, at least for the overnight, it's actually low, it's actually a higher decrease than this because of the fact that it's gone down now to a 1.0. But we're going to go off of the numbers that Adam Stern initially reported. The decrease for the Cup Series, remember Dale Jr. was in the race last year. He wasn't in the race this year was 8%. So we had a 4% increase in the TV rating for Xfinity because Dale Jr. was there. But on the Cup Series side with Dale Jr. in the booth, remember there was that big promotional thing that was a little bit cringy and a little bit desperate from NBC with the uh, whole same Dale, new face or new place, whatever thing. No matter how much you prepare for changing jobs, this is a really big shift for me. The surprise has been that I get to be myself. Dale Jr. and NASCAR, this summer on NBC. That was really cringy, but we've seen a decrease, a massive, massive decrease. Actually, I think 
I guess if you do the math, I guess it's closer to 16%. A 16% decrease in the TV rating uh, after the overnight numbers have, have leveled themselves out. It, TV ratings are a weird thing because a lot of times the, the initial reports are a lot of times higher than the actual numbers are. I don't... TV ratings are kind of a magical thing, and they don't make a whole lot of sense a lot of times. So it's nice that Adam Stern was able to report the actual viewership numbers, the actual number of people that, that tuned in to the Xfinity race, because I think that gives us a much better look at what Junior Nation actually is or what the people or who the people are that are maybe either tuning in specifically for Dale Jr. or tuning in because Dale Jr. is competitive or just out of morbid curiosity to see how Dale Jr. is doing. That's 70,000 people. That's no small number, no doubt about it. And now, is this a total excuse for the decline of NASCAR? I would say probably not. I mean, again, you've seen the unhappy amounts of NASCAR fans with the current product. It certainly doesn't help that Dale Jr., is out of the cockpit, but ultimately that's something that's out of NASCAR's control. So it's interesting. Were you more interested in watching the Xfinity series with Dale Jr. in it or without Dale Jr. in it? Uh, that's a kind of an interesting question in and of itself. I know for me, I was much more interested in tuning in to see how he would do versus just the general uh, you know, playoff race. It wasn't, you know, the, the Xfinity playoff is what it is. There, you know, if you're not interested in seeing the playoffs, if you're not interested in that talking about constantly reiterating what the points are and all this nonsense, you're probably not going to get a whole lot of out, of out of a NASCAR playoff race. But because there was that interesting storyline going into the race with a, a, a driver that uh, obviously is a major part of the sport's success and then add on to that that he was very successful in the race and i think kept a lot of people interested so let me know what you think of this and what do you think of this data where do you th see this going um do you see i mean nascar is getting close on the cup series side to having a rating a tv rating under 1.0 and i don't remember the last time that they had a tv rating under 1.0 so this is pretty significant stuff right here It'll be interesting to see where the ratings go. Do they continue to decline during the playoffs, or do they have an increase? Is, is Richmond the low point in terms of the Cup Series? And where do the Xfinity Series TV ratings go from here? Uh, that'll also be an interesting uh, discussion to have. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been David Land on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe for more motorsport, NASCAR, and racing commentary. We'll see you in the next video.